Hello, welcome back to another video. My name is Nicole Cole. So today we are going to talk about the gyms being reopened and coming back to the gym, do's and don'ts when you're in the gym. So yeah, let's get into the video. I am going to insert my training session from today. So if you do want to follow along with it, obviously with lighter weights or weights that suit you. gyms have just opened and well about five days ago now and everyone was going on about how much they missed them how much they wish they were open and the gyms well my gym especially is so quiet and i'm kind of curious as to why that is if that's to do with insane due to the virus catching the virus or if that's just due to anxiety coming back to the gym or just because you don't want to going back to the gym first off talking about the virus so talking about contact like making contact with the virus getting sick due to the virus so i know that my gym especially and other gyms as well are taking precautions and really making emphasis on the, the cleaning methods that they are using so we have a two-phase cleaning method where we go around and clean the equipment with a disinfectant and then we go around again and clean it again with another type of disinfectant we also have white pods around the gym so around the gym we have little pods with anti-bacterial antivirus wipes in them to wipe down equipment so members can actually use the equipment and go to those pods take a wipe and they can wipe down their equipment so that's obviously really helpful for extra cleaning within the gym because obviously we can't be cleaning 24 7 well we can be but like going around and people are going to pick up equipment and stuff so in between people using the equipment it is able to be like wiped down etc we also have a one-way system so the one-way system is designed to help restrict people from making contact with each other so it kind of like it goes one way around the gym it is really good obviously in the quieter times it's not as strict but when we get busier it will be more strict so that everyone is you know not bumping into each other walking really close keeping the two meters apart we have also took out a few machines which is really frustrating but again to keep that two meter distance to keep everyone safe and healthy that's what our gym have decided to do so there's no need to really worry about contacting the virus whilst in the gym it would be elsewhere we do have hand sanitizers around the gym as well to you know prevent contaminating other objects so touching a door handle you can like sanitize your hands everyone will sanitize hands before they come into the gym then touch the handle so that the coronavirus isn't on the handle and other viruses like that one so i'm going to talk about do's and don'ts now so do coming back to the gym and what you should do so it has been four months so what you should do when you're coming back to the gym now finally and don't so also things you shouldn't do whilst being in the gym after such a long time regarding yourself or the people don't number one is don't dive straight into the deep end going back to the gym after four months you can't be going back to the gym and expecting to lift what you were lifting previous to this especially if you didn't have the weight so i know that i literally had absolutely no weights in my house whatsoever i had a suitcase and you've probably seen on my instagram where i've just piled a load of shoes bits and bobs into the suitcase to use it as a weight but other than that i've literally had nothing i've been doing a lot of cardio i've been doing a lot of hit training and it has taken its toll on my body i have a little bit of a sore knee from running too much the point i'm making is don't be going back to the gym and lifting what you were lifting previous starting off even with 30 percent of your one rep max is literally probably essential to ease you back in to get your body used to you know training and then also to limit the doms after the session so that's all you know when you train legs and you've got that aching in your legs that's what we want to limit firstly going back to the gym because 
otherwise you're going to be out for a while so if you're training really hard say on a monday training legs and your legs are aching day two is the most painful so you've already gone two days it's still the most painful that day the day after that you're still probably going to be sore and even so the fifth day still sore again so you want to really limit that just to begin with to get into it to get used to it and just to ease yourself back in don't put too much strain on your body because you're going to be exhausted first don't don't go back to the gym and lift what you were lifting before it's essential that you build it up back to where you were before the second don't is frequency so the frequency so the amount of times you're going to the gym per week this could even be related to the anxiety that is caused by the coronavirus and coming into the gym so if you're getting anxious and scared coming to a gym environment scared of contacting the virus scared of you know getting anything else whilst in the gym then do limit your frequency coming you could come twice a week it, it makes you that anxious the coronavirus again to to not make you want to come to the gym like limit it to two times a week also you don't want to overwhelm your body you don't want to be going straight back in training six days a week seven days a week full on full intensity because your body's just not going to thank you for it and you're going to take a long time to recover you may not even recover fully and then you'll be training again and then you just won't make any progress so just lower the frequency or you know start with one day a week start with two days a week and then progress that up and up and then eventually you'll be able to go back to how you were training before and the frequency you were training at before don't number three is don't rush so don't rush to get back to how you were before to how big your arms before your abs your legs quads and don't rush to get back to that level or to that strength or to you know that target that you were at before you really do need to slow it down and really you know have a program have a a target for each week to progress up to that you can't be going in and rushing to just try and get back to where you were before i've lost a lot of muscle over this time i've not really done any upper body weighted exercises or resistance exercises upper body so i have lost quite a bit of my upper body strength and muscle really so it is quite devastating but i'm just not gonna rush because i know that if i'm slowing it down i really will make the progress that i want to make and i'll see the difference in giving myself that rest time so moving on the first do is be respectful of people in the gym members but staff especially so i think people have come in expecting that the staff know exactly what they're doing exactly you know the procedures etc and they really are quite rude sometimes i just think you need to be very respectful of them and understand that nobody's been in this situation before no one's gone through this this pandemic before the staff including myself are just learning on the job as well obviously we've had a little bit of training so things that we need to be doing like the cleaning techniques and the one way system and you know telling people to do this don't do that but other things that just you just wouldn't think of until the gyms are actually open we don't know either and i just feel like being respectful and understanding of that will really benefit you but especially the staff member as well be able to resolve the problem or the issue fairly quickly instead of being frustrated by it if you're coming across rude to them being respectful of the members so just giving the members that space and understand that some people are a little bit more anxious of the virus than other people some people really just do want that two meter distance like exactly they don't want any less than that they want to be apart from the people and they are really anxious of of contacting that virus so they do just want to be away like far away from you and i think that's a really big deal like people who aren't as bothered about catching the virus don't really mind if it's like a meter or you know like a little bit even shorter than that sometimes they're not really bothered about getting the virus they don't think they will get it i just think it's just really disrespectful to do with other people that actually are nervous of getting it you don't know if they have an underlying medical condition so yeah just be respectful of members as well and personal space and really understand that everyone's going through this pandemic this this gym newer gym environment very differently my second do is follow a program or invest in a personal trainer following a program you can get um, programs online you can get really good trainers coaches online and buy their programs who will assist you give the, you the exercises and help ease it back into coming back from the gym and you really just don't know where to start because you, you know you've either forgot or you just don't know how to ease yourself back in you need someone to restrict you or to have someone um to make you accountable of you know um, going to the gym and really resisting training really hard and not rushing and 
pushing yourself through that very slowly so yeah just buying a program and having that there to be able to do it in a safe way a safe environment it, it would be really helpful again if you actually want to be in the gym with someone you can invest in a personal trainer find yourself a good pt get into the gym and just get back into it and they'll know what is safe for you if they're a good pt a good coach they'll know what's safe they'll know what's for you what's not for you um, and they'll be able to like coach you through it and really make sure that you're making the progress you want to make so my last do is just enjoy it. So enjoy your time coming back to the gym. They're actually finally reopened. Enjoy your time there. Follow the procedures. Follow the cleaning methods and just enjoy your sessions. Don't be stressing too much that you've lost your gains or you've lost your progress. Just enjoy the process of having another goal, having a goal to reach up to that max squat, having a goal to, you know, gain half an inch on your bicep. Just really enjoy the process of pushing yourself and having the same goal to push to you've achieved it before you can achieve it again and then be excited to you know push even further this time so yeah that's the end of the video so that's the end of the video i hope you found it helpful but yeah i hope you enjoyed and i hope that it was helpful you know for the people that are quite anxious starting the gym again um yeah i hope it was helpful and i will see you next time bye